Welcome to my channel. Welcome back. This is Felix Official, and uh, I think you here. Yes, I didn't have a chance to say Happy New Year this year, and uh, welcome 2022. Yeah. So for those that are just watching me for the first time, this is the Felix Official, and if you see me, just know that there's something exciting coming up next in this video. And yeah, this being the first video I'm featuring in in the year 2020, I have something special, especially for the Zambian population. Yeah, so today we'll be looking at something that is less mentioned out there and we're talking about do you know how powerful the Zambian passport is? This passport, do you know how powerful it is? Yeah, so we'll be looking at how powerful, how, how strong the Zambian passport is. You know, the Zambian passport gives you access to 71 countries without a visa across the globe. How interesting is that? Awesome, right? Great. Yeah, so let's get into this video and let's find out what countries you can go to without a visa. Catch you on the other side. All right, let's get into business. Yeah, so we're talking about uh, the 71 destinations which you can go to without a visa if you are a holder of a Zambian passport. Yeah, so we're talking about nine countries in Oceania, 14 countries in the Caribbean, five countries in the Americas, 13 countries in Asia, and of course, 29 countries in Africa. One country in the Middle East, and unfortunately, no country in Europe. Yeah, so don't even think about Europe if you're thinking about going to a country without a visa. Yeah, so um, I think for now, let me show you this video. Yeah, so that's uh, the first country on my list and it's one of my go-to countries, one of the countries I aspire to go to when I have what is needed. Yes, yeah, so I'm talking about the Bahamas. You can leave Zambia today, get on a plane and travel to Bahamas without a visa. Go and enjoy yourself, you know, the scenery, you know, the Caribbean out there, you can enjoy yourself. You can also visit Jamaica. Yes, go speak that part or enjoy yourself in Jamaica. You can visit Jamaica as part of the Caribbean countries that a Zambian passport can get you access to without a visa. Yeah, so I'll go back and I'll start with, uh, I'll go by continent by continent. Yeah, so I lost that word, but uh, it's a continent by continent. And we're starting with Oceania. So we have uh, the Cook Islands. Yeah, the Cook Islands. We have uh, Fiji. We have uh, Kiribati. We have uh, Micronesia. We have uh, Niue, Niue. Only knew it was something to do with a cartoon I watched, I think, a few days ago. But this country is called Niue. Yeah, it's in uh, Oceania, next to the big islands of uh, Australia and uh, New Zealand. We have uh, Palau Islands. So for Palau Islands, you need a visa upon arrival. Yeah, so you can travel, but you only get a visa once you're in the country. We have uh, Samoa, same with Samoa. We have uh, Tuvalu, same with Tuvalu, and Vanuatu visa free access if you are order of a Zambian passport. Moving on to the Middle East, you only have one country in the Middle East that can give you access without a visa and you only get a visa upon arrival. And we're talking about the Islamic Republic of Iran. So you can travel to Iran and only get a visa upon arrival. I know people, this is the beginning of 2022 and people are making plans of uh, countries you want to visit. Yeah, so I think this video is timely and it comes at the right time when plans are being made by people, uh, well, travel plans, and these are some of the countries you can visit. Yeah, so I'm moving on to people's favorite or some of, uh, uh, like, the, uh, one of my favorite uh, destinations, which I would like to go to in the future, God willing me. And uh, that's uh, the Caribbean island. Caribbean island. So we start with uh, Antigua and Barbuda, which is one of the countries. The Bahamas, the famous Bahamas. 
We also have uh, Barbados. You can visit Barbados without a passport. We have a British Virgin Islands, it's one of the countries that you can visit without a visa, not a passport. You need a passport to travel out of the country, but you can visit these countries without a visa. Yeah, so we also have the Cayman Islands, found in the Caribbean. We have uh, Dominica, we have uh, Grenada, we have Haiti. Yeah, so I think Haiti, we know a lot of uh, musicians, especially that are based in the US, uh, come from some of these uh, Caribbean islands. We have uh, Barbados, I think Rihanna is from Barbados. We have uh, uh, Wycliffe Jean, Wycliffe Jean is from Haiti. Yes, and then we have uh, Jamaica. Almost every dance or artist has something to do with uh, Jamaica. Yes, we have uh, Montserrat, we have uh, St. Kitts and the Nevis. St. Kitts and Nevis, yeah, this is one of the countries to check out. They have a very good scenery. You know, it's one of our top rated tourist destinations across the Caribbean. We also have uh, St. Lucia, we have uh, St. Vincent and the Grenadines. The St. Vincent and the Grenadines, yeah. We also have my favorite, the Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, so this is one of the countries that I wish to visit in the near future. Yeah, so if uh, the money is right, I can travel to Trinidad and we'll definitely do a video and share it with you. Yes, so we are back and uh, moving on to the other continent, which is Asia, starting with uh, uh, Bangladesh. You can travel to Bangladesh without a visa. You can travel to Cambo Cambodia and get a visa upon arrival. You can travel to Hong Kong. Yeah, Hong Kong. Yes, there's some politics around Hong Kong and China, but you can travel to Hong Kong without a visa if you are of the Zambian passport. You can travel to Indonesia. You can travel to Macau. You can travel to Malaysia. You can also travel to the Maldives. So you can travel to the Maldives and uh, you get a visa upon arrival. So I can start off today from Lusaka, the KK International Airport, and reach to the Maldives and only get the visa upon arrival, which I think you be required to pay about $50 or so for the visa. Yes, you can travel to Nepal, you can travel to Pakistan. Nepal, you get a visa upon arrival. For Pakistan, I think you need to do an application online. And then they, it's called an ETA, if I'm not mistaken. And then you still get a visa uh, when you arrive in uh, Pakistan. So you can visit the Philippines, you know, the famous Philippines. You can go to Singapore without a visa if you're a holder of a Zambian passport. You can travel to Sri Lanka, same with uh, Pakistan. You need an ETA for this. You can travel to Timor Lis. So there's a country in Southeast Asia called Timor-Leste. I just got to know about this country, I think a couple of years ago, but it's an interesting country. You need to check it out. It's called Timor-Leste. 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 Yes. So check out this country right here. Yeah. And give me feedback what you see, if you like what you see. So it's in Southeast Asia. It's one of the countries that you can go to and you only get a visa upon arrival. Yeah. So we are moving on to the Americas. Not the United States of America, of course. Not North America, not North America, but the America. So we have uh, Belize. You can travel to Belize without a visa. We have Bermuda, the famous uh, Bermuda. Yes, it's a country. It's a territory called Bermuda. And you can travel to Bermuda if you're from Zambia without a visa. You can travel to Bolivia and get a visa upon arrival. This is uh, South America. You can travel to Ecuador without a visa. You can travel to Nicaragua. Nicaragua, another country in the America, uh, South America, which you can travel to without uh, a visa. Yeah, I think uh, Nicaragua is in South America. Yeah, so don't quote me on this one. It's in the Americans, but I've not specified whether it's the North or the South. Yeah, so moving on to the motherland, Africa. Yeah, so we have about 54 states in Africa, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think 54. And you can access 29 out of those over 50 countries without a visa or a visa upon arrival. Yeah, so the countries that you access without a visa, you just start off and go uh, just our neighboring countries uh, in Southern Africa because of uh, the Sadiq region, yeah? Yeah, so you can travel to Angola, one of them in the Sadiq region, without a visa, yeah? And then the other countries across Africa, you can travel to Benin, also in Southern Africa, you can travel to the Cape Verde Islands in uh, Northwest Africa, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, off the coast of uh, West Africa and get a visa upon arrival. You can travel to the Comoros Islands, 
on the east side of Africa, on the coast, east coast of Africa, and get a visa upon arrival. In terms of visa team, formerly known as Swaziland without a visa, it's in southern Africa, of course. You can travel to Ethiopia and get a visa upon arrival. You can travel to Gambia without a visa. Ghana, a visa upon arrival. Guinea Bissau, yes, a visa upon arrival. Kenya, East Africa without a visa. Lesotho, in Southern Africa without a visa. You can travel to Madagascar, Southern Africa, off the coast of South Southern Africa and get a visa upon arrival. Our neighbor is Achimwene, beside the Papa East, Malawi, you don't need a visa to go there. Mauritania in West Africa, you definitely need a visa upon arrival. Mauritius, yes, Mauritius, you don't need a visa because it's part of the Sadiq region in Southern Africa. So you can take a trip down to Mauritius and go enjoy yourself. Yeah, so you can travel to Mozambique, which is one of the countries that I sent to visit. I think uh, uh, November, that's like a couple of months ago. That's the first time I traveled to Mozambique. It's a great country. Yeah, so I enjoyed the Portuguese, even though I couldn't speak not even an inch or a word of Portuguese, but yeah, it's a good country. At least you can visit Mozambique without a visa. Namibia also. Nigeria, the last time I had uh, something to do with Nigeria, I was asked to, to get a visa before traveling. But right now, as of 2022, you only get a visa upon arrival in Nigeria, which is good. Rwanda, same, get a visa upon arrival. Senegal, you can go to Senegal and you don't need a visa, you can just go there. The seashells, since off the coast of East Africa, East Southern Africa, but you need a visa upon uh, arrival. Sierra Leone, it's in uh, West Africa, visa upon arrival. Somalia, North, uh, North East Africa, but you still need a visa upon arrival. South Africa, you don't need a visa. Tanzania, you don't need a visa. Togo, West Africa, a visa upon arrival. Uganda, you don't need a visa. Zimbabwe, you don't need a visa. Yeah, so I think uh, these are 71 destinations are some of the destinations you can try to visit, especially if you want to visit the Caribbean or the Americas and of course the other countries in Asia without a visa or you get a visa upon arrival and you, it will save you the stress of preparing yourself for those uh, visa interviews, trying to find the other country you need to go to for your biometrics to be taken before you go to that uh, final destination. Yeah, so I think uh, you can go through these countries and then just choose which best fits you. Of course, uh, put into perspective also the, the cost of air tickets. But I think uh, the Caribbean is one of, uh, if you have done your tour of Africa, the Caribbean is one of the go-to destinations. I recommend. I know 2022, there are big plans for 2022. And then I think if I can at least add, I know, I don't know, four more countries to the already six I've visited over the past few years. I think I'll make it. My target is first of all, finishing these 71 countries that I don't need a visa application for me to go to, then start going to those go to destination where everyone wants to go. Yes, I'd like to visit New Zealand. I would like to visit uh, the US, of course, the UK. You know, these small nations in Europe, yes, they are small. I'm talking about Luxembourg. Yes, I can go there, but I think I'll get, I need to go through certain uh, criteria or process for me to go to such countries, but I've seen them, I've checked them out uh, on the internet, and they look like a great uh, country. So I think uh, target for you this year, let's try to travel as much as possible. COVID-19 is no longer an excuse, guys. We don't have money quite to write, which has always been an excuse. COVID-19 added to our already existing excuses. But now, guys, we need to live in the new normal. So we go back to only one excuse, and that's not having money. So we remove the issues of uh, visa application fees and whatnot, just the air ticket and the money to spend once you are in that country. Bahamas, the Maldives, Jamaica. I know some guys who are watching this, who will be watching this, have always wanted to go to Jamaica. One day we'll get there, but one thing has, has to be ticked off our checklist, and that's the visa applications and the visa fees because we can travel to Jamaica without a visa. Yeah, I think guys, uh, for me, that's it for this video. Be sure to subscribe and you know, and click on the bell icon so that whenever I post new content, you are among the first people to watch and uh, react to that content. Thank you for the love that you've been showing me over the past, uh, the few videos I've posted over the past uh, three months. 
Yeah, so I think uh, we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. And I'll try as much as possible to bring you authentic, uh, you know, uh, content on my channel. Mostly to talk about Zambia and how we can exploit the international market or the global market. First of all, we've heard about the 71 destinations you can travel to without a visa, which is good. Next, maybe the airlines that give free tickets if you want to travel out the country. I need to do a research and then share it with you guys. So be sure to look forward to my next video and I'm so happy to be creating these videos for you guys. Yeah, so not much to say. I'm a man of few words. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.